While knowing different tips for designing succulent arrangements is helpful, sometimes it's easier if you can see it in action. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I designed the arrangement in this beautiful address planter by Looking Sharp Cactus. The removable box is convenient for a few different reasons. First, you can take it off while you're planting the succulents. If you already have your address planter mounted on your wall, you can just take the box off and replant it or refill it with succulents as needed. Also, you can actually change the orientation of the whole design. So you can have it vertical if that fits better with the wall you're hanging it on, or you can have it horizontal. Just move the box wherever you'd like it on the planter. The numbers are also removable, so you can just order the numbers that you need and then attach them however you like on the planter. Then if you move, you can easily remove the numbers and replace them with the new numbers for your new address. The magnets on the back of both the numbers and the box are extremely strong. They're not going to slip or slide at all once they're placed onto the planter. When ordering the address planter, you can choose whether or not you want a drainage hole in the planter box. I decided to go with one with a drainage hole to make sure my succulents get the best drainage they can. Now let's talk about the way I've arranged this planter and why I chose to do it that way. Let's talk about color. The planter has orange and red tones in it and I wanted to really bring those out. The best way to do that is to use a complementary color. So the complement of red is green and the complement of orange is blue. So I picked out some succulents that are red and blue. I decided to use the Kalanchoe tomentosa, which has a blue tone. And again, that's gonna be a complement to the oranges that are in the planter. I also used this sedum variety that has blue tones and it also has hints of green along the edge, bringing out the red tones. Then I included some red succulents just to create some unity. And you can see the sticks on fire are red, green, and orange. So there's a lot of color there. And then the Portolacaria afro variegata has some kind of green tones and also some reds. So I stuck primarily with greens, reds, blues, and oranges for this arrangement. In terms of height, I decided to use the Thriller Filler Spiller recipe to just really make everything seem to fit together nicely. I used the sticks on fire as my thriller, and then you can see I used the grafta sedum, the sedum, and the kalanchoe here for my fillers, and I have the portulacaria afra hanging off over the edge of the arrangement for the spiller. I wanted to use the rule of thirds. So the planter box takes up about a third, and the succulents take up another two thirds of the total height of the arrangement. I also considered different shapes and textures. To create some unity, I used two branchy or kind of elongated succulents with the sticks on fire and the portulacaria afra. I used two different rosettes to kind of mimic each other. And then the kalanchoe also kind of works as a rosette, but it also mimics the shape of the sticks on fire. And so that helps tie everything together. But the actual texture of the leaves of the kalanchoe is really fuzzy, which contrasts to the smooth leaves of the graptocetum. In terms of overall design, I put most of my height over on this side, mostly so that you can still see the numbers in the address planter. But then I made sure to balance it out by putting some lower hanging succulents here. I also worked mostly in odd numbers. So you can see I have three of the graptocetum here and another three here. And then there's five of these blue sedums. You'll notice how I didn't just clump them all together. I spread them out through the arrangement. That keeps your eye flowing through the arrangement instead of getting stuck on big clumps of succulents. When I was initially putting the arrangement together, I only had the sticks on fire over on this side, but I felt like it just wasn't quite balanced out enough, so I added a few more over here. And that again helped create the unity and the flow through the arrangement. I did the same thing with the Portulacaria afra, carrying it all the way throughout the arrangement so it wasn't just in one clump all by itself. You'll want to spread your succulent varieties throughout the arrangement, having a few clusters of them together, but then another cluster somewhere else. This helps your eye keep flowing through the arrangement and keeps it looking cohesive. 
Another tip when it comes to designing with succulents is to just practice. Even if you use the same plants over and over, play around with how they look in the pot until you find the arrangement that looks just right to you. Leave a comment below and let me know what your biggest challenge is when it comes to designing succulent arrangements. Thanks so much for watching this video. As always, if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all of your succulent loving friends. And I'll see you in the next video.